I'm Emilio Pasmino, and this is the Warrior Wasp. In between my fingers is the mighty warrior wasp. You might have already seen a video of a guy getting stung by one of these, which, according to some Ecuadorian locals, who have also been stung by the species, is a little bit exaggerated. But this right here is a bare-handed grab, possibly the first ever. As you can see, I am holding it very tightly by the wings and close to the body. This is the only way I'm able to grab it without it reaching around and stinging me. In the last few years, they've become very famous for the extreme pain produced by their sting. And they've gained quite a reputation for being a highly dangerous animal. But today on Animal Encounters, I'm actually going to talk about why we shouldn't fear this creature. And how they actually play a very important role in the ecosystem. One thing I must get out of the way is that these wasps will only attack in a defensive manner. You can see it's trying to sting me right now, but that's only because I'm grabbing it by the wings. Usually, the way people get attacked is because these guys will fiercely defend their nest. However, even that's rare because they nest up in the trees pretty high. Their nests are kind of flat, but have these ridges, which some say looks like an armadillo. That's why they're given the nickname armadillo wasp. These guys are also given the name drummer wasp, because if you get too close to the nest, and before they attack, they will issue a warning by moving their wings in unison and making a loud noise, which sounds like a beating drum. Warrior wasps are native to the tropical forests of Central and South America and can be identified by their shiny metallic blue body and their bright red mandibles. These wasps are eusocial, which means that they live in a structured society with a queen that lays eggs and workers that'll go out and hunt for food and take care of the babies. Kind of like honeybees. However, unlike honeybees, these guys can have more than one queen. The number of queens is constantly changing and is inversely proportional to the number of workers. This means that when there are few queens, there are many workers. But when there's many queens, there's few workers. These proportions are constantly changing back and forth and is a continuous cycle. Warrior wasps are fierce hunters and they use that extreme venom to hunt for prey such as other insects. However, to feed their larvae, they collect sugar, especially from fruits. When I come to the ranch during the dry season, I love to eat cashew fruit. However, often when I go pick the fruit, I'll find that these guys have already made holes into them. Despite what I just told you, research shows that these guys are actually beneficial towards agriculture. In a study done in Brazil, it was shown that these guys will constantly prey on fruit flies that cause much more devastation to agriculture fields than they do. This is why some farmers in that country are starting to release these wasps into their fields to protect their crops. In addition, some scientists are looking into using their venom to make new drugs, such as antidepressants. Well, it's time to let this beautiful wasp go. Bueno muchachos, till next time.